socialized um, employment, that's when we have the government saying, well, you must provide X, Y, Z in order to employ people in our state. So Uber and Lyft said, fine, and we're just not going to service your state if you allow that to be. And that's why they paid so much money to make sure that they got passed. You so, know, so lobby. So, so to compensate for the Uber drivers not all, you know, getting mad at, at them for putting this up, they got a, a pretty nice little bump up in their, in their commission or in their, uh, in their rate. Right. So they came up, even though they didn't get their health care, they still came up on the money. So they're not complaining at all. They, they could have went either way. In fact, the drivers will tell you that to vote yes. Yeah. Because I, that's what their boss told them to vote, and so they're yeah, going to vote yes, man. Well, yeah. So. I mean, when it, when it boils down to wanting to have benefits, but that's not what every employer has to provide to an individual. To any independent employee, no right? So, so like the dash, DoorDash drivers or the the food delivery, that's not in the same. Uh, wait, they those are essential Hello. workers too. Yes. No, Dude, those, no problem. They're essential workers too. What's that? The DoorDash people. That doesn't the, them having it? essential and non-essential status doesn't dictate them working as an independent contractor if you yeah you have, you have tattoo artists or independent contractors you have, yeah uh, exactly a lot of other professions are right and like i said roofers mechanics photographers you know for weddings yeah. and stuff like that yeah everything my wife she's a nanny right she's an independent contractor so unless you're working for a business so they were saying that and uh if you're an independent oh you can't be an independent contractor on this no Unless you have health care. Exactly. So Which that would have been out of the pocket of their... And the health, oh, and the insurance companies aren't set up for individual... It would have been an arm and a... Oh, my God. Exactly. Dude, that is ridiculous. They, they uh, put the... the uh, Hello, sir. Signed a petition man. to recall Newsom. That's how they do it with their gun laws, too, though. What's that? They put the carrot before the horse. Like, oh yeah, absolutely. Horse, like, <laughs> jump one. Up. Hello, sign yeah. a petition to recall Newsom. Let's get him out of office now. All I right. Yeah. And are you in Kern County? Yeah. Wonderful. All I need is your first name here, print and sign your last first and last name. Sign here, and then your registered voter address. Oh, okay. What's one of the reasons why you want him out of office, Margie? Pick one. I know, right? <laughs> well, yeah, the recent one being the curfew that's been imposed upon Although, us. I live in the county, and Youngblood says we're not supporting that. Yeah, right. So, I'm like, good, there's a reason we have you as a sheriff. <laughs> that's good to know. <laughs> so we're all adults. We should be able to choose for ourselves. You want the whole city? Yeah, I guess so here. Okay. Yes, please. The State Department is very critical. Thank you so much. Oh, we also have a petition to uh, research California becoming its own independent country. That way we can keep our tax dollars here in the state instead of sending them off to the Yeah, I'll have to research on that one no first. No problem. And um, please find out more about